Video number 93, solving yet another exponential equation. This time, clearly the bases are different, so we're going to end up probably using a change of base or some type of strategy. What we're going to do here first, let's do the natural log on both sides. Whenever you have exponents on both sides, if you take the natural log, you can always bring that exponent down. So we're going to do the ln of both sides. Now we're going to bring the exponent down in front. So x minus 4 in front of ln 3. Put the x minus 4 in parentheses. Same thing with the 2x plus 5. Put that in parentheses. Now we're going to distribute the ln 3. So you're going to have x ln 3 for ln 3 when you distribute. It's going to be a minus in the middle. Distribute the ln 7. Uh, 2x times ln 7 and 5 times ln 7. Now we're going to combine the terms that have the x's. We're going to put the x's together on one side and put the ln 3 and ln 7 on the other side, the ones that do not have an x. So we're going to put the ones that have an x together, okay? So you're going to subtract the 2x ln 7, you're going to add the 4 ln 3. Bam, bam. Now you're going to factor out the common x, okay? Now you're going to have x times ln 3 minus 2 ln 7 equals 4 ln 3 plus 5 ln 7. Now you can divide both sides by this subtraction. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by ln 3 minus 2 ln 7. That's going to give us this. Okay. Now, because you have an addition, we are eventually going to be able to write this as 1. Well, before we even get there, let's move the 4 up here as the exponent. Move the 5 to the exponent. We're going to change this subtraction to, bam, 1 log of division. Right? Then the numerator, because it's addition of two different logs, we can put a one log together, well, one natural log, and you got ln 3 to the fourth times 7 to the fifth power. So this would be your exact answer. So this would be the exact answer right here. You may have to do that on your quiz and test in order to get credit. Now, um, if they want a rounded off answer, you're event just going to end up doing the numerator natural log of that divided by the natural log of the denominator. You're going to get negative 5.0587. All right, so good times, and talk to you later.